So in this video, I want to share my knowledge about how to take best out of using Mid Journey. For those who are not familiar, Mid Journey it is um, computer generated graphics AI. Um, what it does, it's going through all public domain images and base it on a string of the words or description you provided. It can create um, very sometimes nice art, sometimes very abstract art, but it can create art that you can use it. You can use it straightforward. And as are some people actually using to create their own comic books, publications, most people probably will use it as inspirational. For me, I'm using as a concept art basic, start for ideas. And in some cases for digital compositing, I'll show you, I use it as a backdrops. Um, big plus about mid journey that is you can resell you can almost freely use it and you have a few restrictions most of us will never hit those restrictions but it is you can freely resell freely use it this one and it is um kind of open a fit so you can go look what people inspire like right here and see what's the words they're using and how they create it so you can kind of have very good inspirational work or utilization inside and in my use of this application I find some specific way I can take a best out of the performance so in this video we're going to look on how to sign up how to use how to get best bang for your buck well, let's put it this way and from the service and it's where to use it so first off let's go ahead and look some examples of the compositing when I mentioned for example right here you can see it is model and just replace backgrounds with overlay mode I have multiple videos how to do this and you can notice the background that render inside the mid journey um, very useful in this case and here's examples of some of those backgrounds that are specifically render for the replacement inside the compositing work if you notice they have a very abstract look so it is um, kind of recognizable in your mind start saying oh it's lights it's probably candle lights probably books bookshelves however if you look closer they're not clearly identifiable some web and other ones and this is why I say it as a hero subject currently for me it's not necessary work because it does not have details but it's nice startup point to develop your concept or um, as a backdrop in a scenery for example right here where it's actually work very well because you don't want to have too much details on the backdrop you don't want people focusing but you want general create this atmosphere feeling and it's actually what does for me and of course you can create a multiple different stylizations fantasy cyberpunk um, sci-fi some kind of portal rings you can create another explosion you can see some explosions quite a bit detailed so you can do all this stuff um, they also like I said before you can use it in your concept art like this for example for the poster was render as a base and add more elements to this this but startup was done with a uh, mid journey so it's give it some point and the nice things you can create so many of them put it out for the client so they can say okay i like this concept let's go this way before you spend a lot of time so for me it's a time server you can create a multiple um effect so let's go ahead and look closer what is a mid journey mid journey it is service that provide online um, as a usual, it's uh, have this uh, what I call the drug dealer uh, approach. It's give you a free trial when you get hooked, and trust me, you are get hooked on that. And after this, you can go ahead and need purchase plan. Um, the system that you're using it's utilize Discord that is have their own plus and minuses originally i did not like discord using for this but after time when you figure out how to use it's actually big big benefits than just using applications okay so let's go ahead and say give you an example if we're going to um when you sign up 
And notice I'm using a web browser. I do like use a Discord and web browser because in this case, I can open multiple windows at same time um, to my mid journey to different channels and preview this way. So this is how I say it's bigger benefits. That is an application. You cannot do that. Um, and you notice when you sign up for free or wherever you come to the list and you have it status or rules trials, you have it all these different channels because on the beginning you get overwhelmed and uh, first questions, how you can use this. How do I tell computer what to do? So if you um, geek and you like to read, I will highly recommend for you to go to this link and I will post in the descriptions where it has mid journey. It's a gitbook.io. You can access to this and they have a very good, the quick startup, how it's work. They have a user manual, FAQ, the very nice lot of answers you can find here. And it's an all times we usually refer to when people ask RTFM, read the manual so you can um, find information, but you don't really in this case is so simple. You don't need it. Sometimes what I like to do is dive in, explore mostly if it's creative application and work this way. And if you work with a discord before, or if you don't, this is like a chat based application. So on the bottom, you have it, your prompt, the way you type message or command, and that is continue doing this way. So with the um, mid journey, you're actually giving command and the robot listening for those command for special commands and perform operation based on this. So what is the structure of this? If we look right here, you have your command first, next optional. And this is a link that um, some people use, some don't, and I'll explain why. So your command, you have your reference um, to specific image. We'll address this later. Few, few, few people actually using this one. And uh, let me highlight this one. The yellow, very few people actually using. You have a description, which is majority of people will use the command and description. And description is where you kind of explain what you want to see. For example, if I say command, uh, imagine, and my descriptions will be a ball sitting on a hill or a desert or wherever. So it will be right here. And next you have an options that is more technical options you can apply to the your request on the generation images. And in some cases we can go look and say, okay, let's look what command we can have it. I have a big list of command majority. I found these four probably I'm using the most. Imagine they give it command that what I want to do info. It's when you receive information, how many jobs in the queue, how many on waiting list, uh, what my usage of the fast time, fast or relax. And I will address what is this mean a little bit later. And also you can switch between those two different modes. The reference one, why I say it's few people using, you actually can reference external image, public access, not just one, several, and applications will take those image and base it. So if, for example, you're doing your own concept art and you have something you like it right there, you can um, link or reference to them in your command, in your um, structure, and then it will be accessing them. And then next, of course, you have your description, where is just what do you want to AI to show you, what do you want to render. And the options, it is usually followed by dash dash AR, if you need for resolution, or dash dash no, for example, actually, you know, what? let me right here till we're speaking, I put it right there. It will be command. You actually need to put a dash dash up front. And like AR, you can put it what resolution 16 by nine. It's a ratio. It's you can put it by pixel, but this is a ratio. And this is again, this is majority what I'm using. And of course, this is first landscape another one's portrait and so on. So you can have it all these commands down here. Okay, so in, if we decide to write command, this is what we'll do. And again, this is full command. You not always will use this, but in order right here, we have imagine our command. 
we're separating by spaces space next i'm address path with image located and like http gigatplay.com flowers png so use this image you can address more than one image as a reference next what i want to see field of flowers beside the descriptions and we'll look a little bit later on this you can include not just a um, green field of the flowers with the clouds on top you can like describe in language you also can specify for example high details ultra realistic photo realistic what type of render in some cases you can say um trending and art station which is honestly i don't know how backend work on this how the logic going but it does prioritize with the reference with the images public images maybe reference from or inspiration you also can put it even style um, like for example Bob Ross after this and it will render in Bob Ross so it's actually very flexible very interesting how you use language and after this you have a space you have a dash dash for example this is AR for the resolution ratio hours 16 by 9 and this is much separated by space if you break any of this or command not recognize of course the um, discord let you know that is uh, have a problem with this and you need to reformat your command or other things uh, anytime when you give it command remember it's ai generated so if i do same command over and over i will receive over and over different result so it does have some randomization see there it's precisely same name or whatever you're passing does not guarantee you will receive exactly same result and that is may lead to another question like for example if you preview on the channels and you like something right here on the top you can see it actually what prompt the people will was using okay and if you copy and paste this prompt you'll notice you won't get it exactly the same result you probably maybe sometimes get a total opposite result but it is give you idea what people use it like for example here a description girl holding a doll um by station night blah, 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 so on and you can see it it's also notice that is you see everyone who is rendering when you originally joined for free um you will access only to these public channels and the problem with these public channels you can see it's posted so if you type something and you're waiting for render and it's take a long long time or sometimes some time to render it may scroll up and you need to go back and find your image and so on if you own a pay you have an ability to have a private bot and we'll show what is benefits on this and this is leading us to the pricing and to see does it worth it actually pay for me to using this service uh, to experiment with this or what i should do Okay, so let's start with this first you will have access to the trial trial is free but it's very limited one you can use only fast mode so what is fast and relax mode it's what they call two different modes you can switch by the tag the fast will process with priority on the gpus on the back end and it will process quite a bit fast but it will um utilize time against you so you can have the relax mode with the basic standard standard corporations which is slow rendering and it is in some cases significantly slow can be versus fast but it does not account of you using your hours and what we mean by using hours for example right here you can say use the fast mode 25 minutes what does 25 minutes mean 25 minutes it's how much gpu dedicated time on the servers to process because it's all computing power going on um, in some cases i just discard minutes because it is confusing and just going one image per minute of a high resolution so what is meaning i can have 25 access it's, it's somewhere between 20 to 25 images i can render on the max resolution if you render on low resolution you still utilize fast mode but it's you can render more of the images so this is free and this is a lifetime so it's meaning you have one invite you're using done deal it does not reset by month or anything you need after pay to switch 
If you don't want pay to switch, you can try apply for like a DALI E2 or other one surface they have it. They even have it. You can install on your own personal computers if you're geeky enough to do that. Um, if you like the mid journey and you want to utilize the service, you need to switch to the pay uh, subscription type. Basic, it is $10, 200 minutes, what about 200 images, max resolution you can render, and it can be only work in a fast mode. So you have it, no options for the free images or well, not free for relax image. And what I was meaning again, let's speak about relax or fast. It's with a tag. When you set your mode on the relax, then you can actually render in. Let's go look right here. So right there, you can see I have it my channel. Uh, it's in a private mode. I'll show you in a second. And you can see right there, it's take it not that long, but it's in relax mode. So let's go see command info. And it's what I showed you before what we're using. And then info, you can see it's tell me um, what I'm up to right now. I have it seven available invites. Just recently I have it three, so they pop up. I can invite seven more people. But let's put right here my job mode. It's in a relax. So it means it does not count against me. I have my fast time remaining, which is uh, I have it left only four hours in this month versus 15. Uh, I did not use it any uh, metered usage because if you run out of these hours, you can pay about $4, I think, per one GPU hour. So it's about four additional 60 images max resolution. Um, you can pay this much. And visibility mode public will address this later. What does mean public or private? And you can see a lifetime a render of 3600, which is about 61 hours. Look, it's a little bit more than 15 hours, yes? And the reason I explain why you can, how you can utilize this and how you can use it the best to your performance to use this one. And I use the majority in the relax mode. And also my mirror mode, how I said before, and for this month it's zero, I don't paid anything. I have it no incarnate jobs and I don't have any running jobs. So this is just information that info I'm looking constantly on this because on this case, I want to be sure when I can use my fast time or whatever. And I will um, usually almost all the time I work in a relaxed mode with exception when I need to specifically render something in a fast mode. And a fast mode, it's not necessarily mean fast rendering. It's also mean you can upscale to the max. So currently when I render in relax mode and we'll click, we can preview this is image uh, resolution and depend. Okay, let's go click on open original and we'll go just to save this image. And right here we have it, our image, save it. So the one thing is um, our image, you notice it is in the fast mode. So it's still be useful. I can still use it as a background with no details. So if you want to switch between this is in the relax mode and it's took a little time. So the, for the fast, we'll just need to type command fast. Notice it's in a fast mode and now I can upscale to max. Actually, you know what? Let me show you. This is what's happening if you're in a relax mode and you type the upscale to max. It's come and says, hey, we cannot upscale. Um, you need to go in a fast mode. So you can still use it. And this is a 1024 by 1024 resolution and it's based on the rate show as well. So what does it mean by rate shows? If we look on this image and we'll go to image size, you'll notice this is actually 1920, but it's 768. So it is um, kind of adjusting pixelization one way or another. So it can overcome 124 in one way. But general, it will squish in other ones. So general, it will have a square 124 by 124 in the um, relax mode. Okay, so let's go ahead right now, switch to the fast mode. And when I switch this, can go upscale to the max, and it's you can see it start processing. It's going a little bit faster. Uh, usually what I do, and I'll show you how I process them a little better this way after I start rendering in a fast mode usually instantly when I know I don't do it I switch instantly to the relax mode on this case it prevent me 
from um, my next commands if I want to do something to go in a fast mode and going against me. So this way, how I save my minutes, how I be sure my pay minutes utilize only for that, that I want high resolution to use it. And you can see it's already processed quite a bit faster. We can run as example in a relaxed mode and you can see the different how long it will take it. It's maybe take anywhere from um, three to 10 times longer to generate. And again, remember, this is one be a highest resolution. This is will be that resolution you have. Um, overall, currently max resolution, it's about twice the size. It, and we'll look in a second, but I'm not necessarily uh, very happy. I wish they had a little bit bigger size uh, to render for the high resolution. But again, it's based on what they can provide this time. Okay, um, till this is rendering and it's almost 89%. You can see it's will be done probably very soon. There you go. It's done. Let's go ahead and open. And by the way, um, when you open, when you save it, I do recommend to use it open original because if you save size, and I'll show you in a second, from preview versus open original and you save from this, it will actually does not have a preview full of size in this case. So let me go ahead and save this image. And let's, as I'm saying about uh, previews in everything, what does it work? And um, let's go back to our pricing. So you notice right here we have a kind of understanding about a little bit of relax and a fast mode. But overall, there are basics. It is been 10 images, 200, uh, approximately $10 for this for 20 images. And you don't have choice of the relaxed ones. Um, you have it standard, which is a $30 a month. You have it your 15 hours. You remember I show you this account in a fast mode, unlimited in a relaxed mode. And 15 hours, it's anywhere between 800 and 900 images you can render in a fast mode. Um, you can very easily go over this. If you start with permutations and if you going for specific look, sometimes you have more than that. So it's not 900 final images. From final images, I maybe have it tenth of this or less. Okay. Um, keep this in mind. So it doesn't mean you will render this. It's why for me, relax mode or unlimited, it is worth it. Um, and of course, you have it, your corporate, which is actually have a different uh, benefits, but it's a 600 year and you have it approximately 600 images. So it's less than standard mode, but it's have some other perks and I don't go deep in a corporate uh, due to the, I don't know how many people will use this one. So let's look on a what pay versions will give you benefits. All of the pay versions first trial. First, it's a personal chatbot and a personal chatbot, it, in my opinion, must have in this case, because if you're real developing, you cannot use any of these public channels that you can see they're busy. The people go there and it's of people who mostly free using and they just keep on spamming, keep on spamming your work constantly will go in and out. So you can go and you can create your private um, chatbot. Just open like this and it's only you. They're showing only your commands and it will you see your work. So in this case, you can go scroll back up and do all the stuff and it's have a history. So you don't worry. It is run out of the screen. Um, keep in mind private bot chatbot does not guarantee or does not guarantee it does not hide your feet so wherever you render right here people can still going and see it so for example if you go on community feed and it's showing in a list here your images not all of them but some pop up and let's go say geek at play okay and right here you can see my feet so it's meaning everyone can access and see what I'm currently working on, um, what I'm doing. And beside that, what I'm doing, it's all accessible. So if, for example, junkyard, what I was doing recently, you can go right here, you can see resolutions. And of course you can access prompt. So you can see what words I'm using. Like for example, this is very simple right here. It says futuristic junkyard, but they can copy that. They can see what resolution was using and reuse. So if for some reason you are 
developing maybe for company you don't want summary concept where we have a very nice concept come up and you don't want people to see it or utilize the string you want to have more privacy you don't want to see people these permutations what you render and all that stuff then you can switch to the um what they call private mode and a private options it's additional i think ten dollars a month but then um your information you're typing won't be displayed on the screen so it's people won't be seeing the line your images won't come up on a feed and so on so this is uh, um, additional options for this so let's go ahead you have your personal chatbot which i highly recommend you can switch your modes because without relax mode it would be worthless to me because it cannot produce so much images with uh, this mode i can produce and tell you through many and many of those uh 10 20 by it's useful and very highly sellable okay um you can create parks jose you can sell those art and as a background you can easy scale then and it will work very well so for me this mode is must have it and as says it's processing you can have it three in processing going currently and 10 can stay in the queue i'll show you in a second what i mean by the staying in the queue additional as i says you have it four hours per gpu which is about 60 images um for four dollars so you can kind of calculate how much per image cost will be private options additional unit pay and one thing mentioned it is pg13 so it's meaning if you try to render they have it block words um and when you type them sometimes you come up and i don't know reason why some of those words is blocked but you'll see it says hey it's blocked and uh, when it's a blocking word come up it doesn't mean that they will stop your access instantly but they will monitor if you try to walk around for example if you have it like um, blood skin so i don't know something like put it on and it's you see the blocking come up it's happened to me a few times and but you try to reward something different for the same result then you get banned but if you just accidentally type the words whatever it's come banned it's just says hey you cannot use this just don't don't go that direction try to work in different ways okay and the max resolution is doubled to uh 2048 by 2048 about i wish it will be higher and I think they're working on high resolution, but again, um, I will gladly pay a little bit more per image if it was higher resolution than that. So this is kind of a nutshell, it's more stuff there, but let's jump back to our preview. So you can see right here, we have it, our um, mid journey board, and that's what I said, you can look um, on your feed. Let's say you decide, hey, I'm going right now with a $10 or $30, whatever. Personal, I think $30, the best value right now you can get on mid journey. And um, primarily because you can use a relax mode. And uh, when you need to render fast mode or other, what usually I do, because it's your personal chat, you can scroll up and you can see right here, I was pre-rendering. You can preview them and says, hey, I like this one. And you click upscale when you do upscale it's nice things it's actually inform you stay button stay blue um by the way make variations it's make permutations from this for example if i press on this it says okay let's take this image and create four different images four different images it's mean like let's go scroll up 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 if i can find right here you see this will create four, four very low resolutions and you can say hey what i wanted usually i got it and i check on all of them and says hey i want preview them high resolution if i wasn't on the relax mode i probably won't do that but i notice the thumbnails preview versus when it's rendered a little bit more it's quite a bit different mostly in details but same like right here for example i can go there and says okay i want this upscale those ones and i kind of like this let's go ahead with variations and this is what stand for it says upscale 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 variations variations for one two three four and if you don't like any of them just uh, redo all of four make a different randomization different ideas on this okay and then when you go down you can say okay i want um preview this one says render and notice i press several of them let's go scroll all the way down or click right there five messages and you notice what's happening it says this is start work this start work and 
if it's said in a queue remember three in process and we can have it up to 10 in a queue it says your job starts shortly uh, it's happening if you are running on a queue it will come up and i'm just looking if i can find the message when it come up it will tell you hey your queue is full right here see right there if you run too much it says your queue is full and then you cannot put it more you need to wait till job is processed so technically you can uh, stack about 13 uh, permutations to uh, creating for the ai for you before you can add anything new um from selfish reason i wish there was more so i can stack many of them create batches everything and just leave it there and whatever they're done they're done so i don't need it uh babysitting with a relaxed mode and other things would i like it it is because it is slow i don't need it stay there and just click 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 i can put it leave it for the hour couple hours just sitting there come back back and check on them so i can do my work till this job is processing here um but this is um uh, how i'm done usually so i'm going there i created all this um, make on upscale make on a versions preview for example let's make another version you can preview again another versions uh, one thing keep in mind um if i have it my version select here variations they're not a lock on this one so for example if i have it my variation set on a first image and this other image it does not showing however if i click also make variations on the same image so variations from these and other images the actual variations will be different okay so let's um speak right now a little bit about the max so does it worth it upscaling to max and what is it different is let's go back to photoshop and right here we'll say um how you can preview image and if you remember before what i did i says when you click on image you can preview you can right click and say save image here however i highly do not recommend do this i recommend click on open original and from that point you can save here as well you can actually going to your feet for example personal feet let's click on that one actually home let's go home personal feed so right here and in the home you can see all this permutation so you can actually go ahead click and save from this point okay so we'll go on an image and we can click on download so you can go from um if you don't like from discord so you can go and save from this way this will be downloading that way as well so sometimes you may prefer this way um some people prefer feed I do prefer a little bit from Discord, a little bit different ways, a reason why I'm doing this way. But overall, you can preview um, your images. Notice also the actual benefit here. You can see preview instantly what size it was done. For example, this is 24 by 1. It's a max size. If you have it less resolution, it's showing you smaller. And again, if we have it, the other ones, it's showing you 24 so this is upscale up to max what we've done okay um as i'm on this page um we'll come back to this because i want to show you a little bit more how you can work with this interface what i find out but um let's focus on what i was saying about does it work max versus not max and it was different so first things if you just copy image from preview you'll have it one resolution so if you are using save you can see it's bigger size so actually in the preview mode from other ones it does not give you all size so you have it a little bit bigger or smaller okay let's go right there but now let's compare this to the our max mode so this is our max image and you can see it's quite a bit a little bit bigger size not necessary double double resolution but it's bigger but where it's come up different it is in details so let's go zoom in a little bit closer and look on the render like for example this part we have it wheel showing you can see details so in max mode actually like a trees you can see the render better like this tree by this car 
you can see they're not visible so you will have it higher detail so it's not just the resolution on a max to render it's also how much details processing in this and how much um, I think additional options like highlights add a little bit more so does it worth yes for the details if you're going for the details if you're going for the better um, apply color blending max resistance definitely give you better on this like look on branches on the trees on the back this is a uh, relax mode and this is of course the um, fast mode or the higher cpu render so you definitely you can see improvement in small details quite a bit but do you need it and this has come up a next question many of those details if you render character maybe you do need it but if you render as a backdrop those small details will be lost anyway um, if I render so in some cases you maybe don't need it but what I do most time I'll go over and if I find some is worth it to upscale so I use it as upscale and I have it versions of one that I like it upscale mode but I save usually all of them upscale and not upscale just for the future reference as well and the nice things when you save it's actually saved with full uh, string so you can reference in the file if you need it in the future so let's look back to our feed and profile and how we can utilize max from this so if i need inspiration something i can go to the community um, tab let's go refresh a little bit on this and i can scroll down see which one because some of them very inspirational and when you find something you like it or you want to go from this you can always um, click and say prompt however what I recommend for you to do it is actually bookmark them um, like for example if I like this I click right there and says add bookmark now in my bookmarks if I go in this is those images that I found some interesting inspiration or maybe some ideas from these images and then they are reside kind of in my collection I can address them all the time okay uh, this is images and the feed it's all public access remember what i says you can set private mode if you set private mode they are won't be display in community feed they are won't be display any of these channels here they will be from private board and they will be hiding so if you worried about some concept art you're working maybe for secret movie or something you can just go ahead and hide them that way um, next for example if you like something I said before you can preview image you can copy and you can see how many words the people put it right there you can copy them and you can re-render you also can look the parent image and other ones you can see if people copy from some other elements if the people was reference the images and this is you can see also permutations that system render kind of nice just showing you um what's going on uh let's look very fast on the string that for example this as um, people use it and mostly what we looking right here this is the names of the artist the person is referenced so when ai checking it's also will check for the reference to the names and work in this specific style and this is um sometimes when people use it and i notice the description and says hey why this work look like miyazaki work or gimbal studios or some other ones is because the people put it inside like right here hi miyazaki um sometimes uh, system will be confused try not to mess up with the style because some of these styles will be quite a bit different so ai may confuse you may have a good mix of this but i found it will in the end prefer one style over another so you want to play around see how it's work but again keep it in mind it does not guarantee it may prioritize one style over another and i don't know how the weight on this will work and also you'll notice right here people put it hyper realistic is a precise distinct all these additional words that may affect in some cases i find some of them not necessary um provide a lot of information they can be lost or other things and some do have it uh, quite a bit weight for example um, 
high details, hyper details, photorealistic, realistic do provide some effect. In some cases, actually, if using photorealistic words or realistic will add blurring, DOF blurring, which is not necessarily needed. And then you need to type dash dash no space blur or no DOF. So you want to remove that. Okay, so right here, I hope this is kind of helpful. It's more stuff going over just to summarize personally what I'm doing. I using this one to create uh, digital backgrounds, art, digital elements, like for example, right here, face was render. So it's a background. So this is my personal use of this. I use it in the standard $30 per month, 15 hours, and I mostly use it in relax mode. Um, I do render in a fast mode when I needed upscale or higher details on some images, but majority of my stuff, I'm using free unlimited render in relax mode. It's which kind of nice give me all that uh, processing. Uh, personally, I don't, for these iterations, I don't care about the uh, private options. However, uh, some project that they're going to do on a corporate, then it will be in private options so that people cannot see it. Um, some concepts, so who knows, maybe you strike the gold and you don't want this to leak out. And um, as I said before, remember you're limited to PG-13 stuff, so you cannot um, do some crazy stuff. And I kind of agree with this. You can easily work without that. And um, max resolution currently, using for the image, I wish it was a little bit more. Um, if you're interested, I would recommend for you, I have it right now, seven invites, some of them, um, I give it before, I can give it a little bit more, but right now, I would highly recommend just go through the Facebook for the mid journey or other place, and they're actually um, accepting the people there, because you cannot just go and start working, you need it first get invited into mid journey it's going by uh, invitations uh, reason is they don't want to be overwhelmed with the amount how many people will going and join i think it just uh, they slowly growing their computer power because if it's utilized gpus it's mean they're using some probably nvidia cards they have a farm similar what you're using for the mining crypto coins right now crypto coins are down so the cards a little bit <laughs> cheaper i think and um, but they're using this those cards so and they're slow growing their farm of their uh, processing it's a reason probably you cannot go straight sign up and you need to get invited but it's very very easy to get invited to this um, just example if you want to invite in Dali too you need to wait months and months and months and I don't know when you get invited but with this list it's weeks couple weeks week and if you have somebody who is there they can send you personal invitation then you can invite um, join instantly almost at this time um, again I hopefully you, you'll find this video kind of interesting for you some information that I share share what I'm using how I'm using and best way to ut utilize um, and get best out of this money you spend if you spend on the service from the mid journey if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe on the channel. It's helping growing up, help me to spread kind of what I'm doing, my work and share. And also don't forget, check the other videos. I have it about how to use this in compositing work, how to create these images in compositing and um, how to create your another artwork. Thank you again for watching this and have a great creative time.